Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to do a review and a tutorial from the Laura Geller Iconic New York Collection Downtown Cool Eyeshadow Palette. This little guy retails for $42. It contains 12 pans of color. Each one is 11 grams. There are actually two palettes in this collection. There is this one, which is the Downtown Cool, which is of course on the cooler side. And then there's this one, which is called the Uptown Chic. And this one, is much more on the warmer side. This little guy definitely has quite the mix of cools and warm tones, so this was definitely the more versatile of the two. You could get warm looks, you can get cool looks, and some of these colors are so gorgeous and poppy, like this, oh, holy cow, this blue. My main problem with a lot of palettes is that they don't give me a mid-tone matte shade to use to blend in my crease. And this palette gives me three mid-tone mattes. So this has a mix of mattes and kind of satins and shimmers. There's nothing full-on glittery in this. So it has seven mattes. It's really great for a more mature person who does you know, prefer to use more mattes and just a little bit of shimmer or a little bit of satin kind of on the eyelid so that you're not wasting a whole palette on all these super glittery things that you're just not going to use. This is definitely not a one note palette. There is a ton of variety in here and not a lot of repeated colors over and over again. The color payout on the shimmer shadows is much more consistent than the color payout on the mattes. The mattes are a little more hit and miss. One that I'm particularly disappointed in is Heather, the second swatch in the pan that looks like a beautiful gray blue color and swatched on the skin and wearing it on your eye, it just comes out a standard gray. In general, when I'm using this palette, I tend to go around the outside edges the left edge across the top and down to the bottom. But I think these four in here as a quad could just make a beautiful look on its own. The eyeshadows feel super soft, super like creamy, but not quite that buttery softness where when you dip in your brush, they're gonna fall apart and you're gonna get eyeshadow all over the place. They don't tend to kick up a lot of dust. I did have a little fallout with some of the darker shades, so definitely use um, a guard or put your eyeshadow on before you put on your uh, face makeup so that you can brush away any fallout but other than that they are a dream to blend the color payout is really great they don't disappear they don't blend out to nothing they stay separated so absolutely loving this palette and so let's go into the tutorial now of how I did this look and you'll see how to get a nice cool kind of purpley taupey look going all right, let's get started with the eyeshadow tutorial. The first product I'm gonna use is Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I just squeeze out a tiny drop of that on the back of my hand and spread it over both my eyelids from lashes to brows with my finger. This one does tend to gather up in the crease, so just be sure to wipe your finger across the crease on each eye to remove any excess that may gather in the crease. First, I'm gonna use my IT Cosmetics Small Shadow 220 brush and the shade Cream. I'm gonna apply that all over the movable part of my lid packing it on, dipping back into the palette as I need to, to make sure that I build up a nice off-white base on my eyelid. And then I'm gonna spread that up to the rest of my eyelid and underneath my eyebrows for a brow highlight. Next up, I'm gonna use my MAC 221 brush in the color Sahara and apply that at the outer corner of each eyelid. I'm gonna start in the crease and draw that down towards the corner of my eyelashes at an angle. Then I'm going to dig the brush back into the deepest outermost corner of the crease and bring that across in an arc following the line of the crease about three quarters of the way in towards the nose. Be sure to place that color deep into the crease and then bringing it a little bit above the crease. Then I'm going to use my Beauty Junkies Pro Tapered Blending Brush to blend that out. Next, I'm going to use my Sigma Shader Crease E47 brush and the color Heather. And I'm going to apply that at the outer corner going over Sahara from the outer corner of the crease down to the outer corner of the lashes. And then with whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to bring that down underneath the lower lash line. Then it's back to the Beauty Junkies Pro Tapered Blending Brush. I use that in small circular motions to blend out the outer corner of the eyelid, bringing that across towards the inner corner, 
and then running it down and underneath the eye to blend the eyeshadow down below the lower lashes. Using the Sigma E47 again, this time going into Electric Plum, and then apply that as a third layer on top of Sahara and Heather at the outer corner. But with this one, you're gonna drag it across the eyelid from the outer corner to about a third of the way in. Using the Sigma E47 again and the color Heather, then I'm gonna dig the brush back into the deepest outermost corner of the crease and bring that across in an arc following the line of the crease. Then as a last step, give it a little flick up at the outer corner so that it lifts the outer corner of the eye. Now I'm going back in with my Beauty Junkies Pro Tapered Blending Brush and using small circular motions to blend that out, starting at the outer corner of each eye. Next I'm using my Sigma Shader Lid E56 brush and the color Cloud 9. And I'm applying that starting at the center of my lid on the movable lid and drawing it in towards the inner corner of my eye. Packing the color on there to add a little brightness to the inner corner and the center of the eyelid. And then going in with the Beauty Junkies Pro Tapered Blending Brush again to blend that across with the other shades that are already on my eyelid. And I'm using my Sonia Kashuk number 129 fan brush to dust away any fallout that was on my cheeks. For eyeliner for this look, I'm using Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips in the Smoky Eyes Trio. This one is Shimmering Silver. Just run that along the lower lash line in the waterline and below the waterline. Then for the upper waterline, I'm using Sephora Contour Crayon 12 Hour Wear in Fifth Avenue. This is a matte gray liner and I'm just running it along the upper waterline. For the liquid liner above the upper lashes, I'm using Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen in black. Press and drag it at the base of your lashes. And then before you get to the actual outer corner of your eye, you don't wanna go all the way to the outer corner of your eye because that will tend to draw your outer corner down. Then I'm curling my eyelashes with the Trim Easy Hold Eyelash Curler and then applying a coat of mascara or two using Lancome's Monsieur Big Mascara. Then I'm just gonna use my finger to pick up a little bit of Shimmer Toast, and I'm gonna apply that to the center of my eyelid to brighten up the center a little bit more, make it a little bit darker, and that's it. Here's the finished look. All right, so I hope that if you pick up this palette that you're able to follow along with the tutorial and create this eye look because this has been my go-to eye look lately. If you've watched my last three or four videos, this was the eye look that you saw and I know a lot of you really, really liked it because you requested the tutorial on it. So I hope that you'll be able to recreate it. I'm gonna link the palette as well as all the brushes that I use because I think that the Sigma Precision Brush Kit is really important in uh, like being able to keep the eyeshadows really close and everything. So I'm gonna link that as well and then you'll be on your way to creating that awesome hooded eye look with these nice cool colors. I hope you enjoyed the review and the tutorial. If you did, give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, I appreciate your time everybody and thank you so much for watching today. Have a great week and I will see you in the next video. So take care everybody. Bye-bye.